Hello everyone, welcome again in Linux topic. Today we will learn how to remove a personal information from the log files. I know you are thinking why we choose this topic today. So let's explain. Suppose we are working on an application while working we, we got an error and tried to fix it but can't. For this issue resolution we have to involve the application vendor and have to share some logs with him. Here is the big challenge to share the log because many organizations did not allow to share customer information to the third party vendor. To avoid this situation, we will remove personal data from the logs files. Single or two entity, we can do it easily by manually editing the file, but in the multiple, it is a big challenge, means it, it is a too time consuming for us. So let's get start this quick value masking process. So first I will just open any Linux box. I have a one file like cat where log event.logs. So I have a this file where I want to just remove the personal data like card number, account number, phone numbers, address and etc etc. So before I start First, I will just make a copy using the cp command cat and then again I will just open this file. First, I will pick up a one entity like account number. So, in this entity, we have only a number value. So, we will regress only number for account. So I'm just copy it. Grab dash O and then paste account number. Tam and event logs. So we have a three value like account number in this file. Then I will just continue. Just different with backslash and then I hit the enter. So we have the another words like this. Now I will just add a number regress regress number. So square bracket and then zero to nine and then again hit the enter. So I have a one value. Then I want to all. So I will just add plus. So now I have account number details. Then this and this one. So this is an account number field. Use a set command for replace this value said dash e and just copy this value as for search and then paste then colon again paste uh, sorry it's a uh, confusing so I just uh, forgot to add uh, slash and then again hit the enter so I'm just printing the output so it's a removed now we can remove permanently using the I option then again I will just cat log file and it's a removed. So we removed number and then we will remove the number and character and special character also. So same we will follow first uh, a grab command address
and here we have a number special character square bracket a to z means character lowercase a to z character in uppercase 0 to number and then also have a space so we will use just a space hit the space and also have special so I will just add we can also add dash underscore comma now we will grab number and character so we got it then we have a space so I will just add dash s so dash s space and then I have this character also so we got it the full address we can also add underscore dash comma so we got it so now we will just use this value in set command set dash e then I will just copy it then and sorry it's uh, added extra so address I think I removed yes we removed it so we can use are you we can make a shell script for masking these values so I'm just creating a one script and for quick I'm already added all the value like uh, account number customer ID address operators customer name card holder cards phone and address so this is script first create a copy in temp directory and then replace the value for the better we can use a loop for this so we can create a for loop for like uh, the account number so we will add this value like account number so I just added this uh, all fields and we will just execute this script as a loop so I use a set command it doesn't matter we can add for uh, all the special character character for all the value so I just added all the characters then I just add the remove so I will just comment out these lines then I will just save the script now I will execute this script as a bash command as a bash sorry bash and then a script path the hit enter uh, it copy and then I will just check temp event dot logs so in this file I will just validate like operator removed card removed account removed card hurdle removed and address removed phone removed customer name removed customer ID removed means we we removed everything so now we are good to sharing this file to the vendor means we don't have any personal information of the customer 
so hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for the watching